Hello, Nicole Herrick here. I'm just going to take you through the basics of how to create a blog post in um, Google's Blogger or also known as Blogspot um, and also how to adjust your pages. So I'm just going to show you this is the front page of a blog that I recently set up for someone. Um, so we've just got one blog post here. Um, and then that was the first blog post, so there's no other blog spots. We also have um, a sidebar here, which I've put information in for them. Um, so these are like little um, sort of apps that you can add on the side here, and there's lots of different things that you can add. And then along here, on a yellow bar, I've put in separate pages. So on your home page, you're always going to have your latest blog posts. Um, and that when you're setting up a Google Blogger or Blogspot um, page, it, it has to be that way because it's a blog, it's not a website. Um, but you can add in all these other pages just like any other regular website. So here I've just put one about our ethos, just a few simple images and some text. What we make. Um, so if you then had like an Etsy shop or a Made It shop or something like that or an eBay store, you can actually um, link these images to um, your different categories on your um, web shop or you could just um, actually have a, a link here that just goes straight to your Etsy store or something like that. Um, or you could just put a, a link simply in the text that says head here to see our um, Etsy store. Um, and then I've got market dates in here, so we don't have any information in here. Um, and then just a little contact us, so just a little phone number there. Um, and I've also got a contact form over on the right hand side. Um, so that that's another place that they can contact people. Um, there's also a link to their Facebook page. And just a little bit about um, who the, th the three ladies are that um, own this brand and make these hand crafts. Um, so the first thing to do is to go to your blog. So www.your blog's um, address. And then over here on the right hand side you'll see create a blog or sign in. So we want to sign in. Um, now you'll need to have been given access to your account if somebody else set it up for you. So if you had a designer set it up for you, then you know they will have given you access to be able to um, get into the account with your Gmail um, email account. And I think you have to have a Gmail account to be able to log in and edit it. So I'm just going to log in with mine. Oops, I can remember my password. Okay, um, so it takes me into a dashboard of any of the blogs that I've got. So if you've only got one blog, you'll only see one here. Um, but obviously I've got a few blogs that I've either set up for myself or for other people. So to go into that particular blog, you just need to click on the name of it, okay? Okay, and it comes up on an overview page. So I can see down the left-hand side here I've got a menu system and up the top it shows me that I'm on overview. These two are orange. Um, and this just has some simple stats. Um, you know, what's been happening lately, what, what you've done lately, or maybe you've got other people that publish to your blog, that kind of thing, and then some news from Blogger. Um, so the next one we go to is posts. So the difference between a post and a page is, I'm actually just gonna open the blog so I can show you. So a blog post, is you know something that you uh, uh, like a news update so you'll add maybe once a week a blog post or you might blog once per day you might only blog once per year um, it varies for every person that has a different blog um, so you just determine you know how often you want to blog and you don't have to stick to a complete schedule if you don't want to you can just blog as and when you want to um, so this diary piece here I like to call it is a blog post Whereas these ones over here are actual set pages, so they just stay the same unless you change them. Okay, so if, I, if I'm in the post section here, it shows me this is one that I've already created. If I want to create a new post, I would just click over here on the right hand side where it says new post. Sorry, left hand side. <laughs> okay. And it comes up and says, alright, post title. So let's do a... Um, 
draft um, test title. I'll just do it in the test one. Um, and then if you click into the body of the post, this is where you add your text and your images. So I can simply write into here um, and it will always come up with a bit of a default um, sort of text style, as the, sorry, default font. I like to change it just to something really simple, which is something like Arial. Um, and then from when I type that on, it'll stay Arial. Um, if I want to add an image, I would go to this little icon here and you hover over it and it says insert image. So I click on that and I can go and choose my file. So I'm going to find my milk and honey one. So I might just choose one of these images and click upload. And you can upload more than one at a time if you like. Uh, but then I can just go, yep, that's the one, add selected. And it will pop it in there for me and it automatically resizes it um, to what it thinks is going to be the best size for your blog. Now you can actually click on the image and adjust the size of it. So if I went small, that's how big it will be. Extra large, ooh, really big. Or original size would be way too big and it would actually hang off the page over here somewhere. So we're going to keep that on medium. Um, I can also say, all right, I want it in the center, or I want it on the left, or on the right. Um, and so let's say we want this on the left, and I can add a caption as well. So I can put new baby boys. Oops. And then again, you know, I, I really don't like that serif, so I will just change that to Arial. Um, now you can see that when I put something over here on the left, it actually allows me to type over here on the right. Well, I might just grab some text off something else. Um, just have to copy and paste in there. Okay. Oh, actually, and that's another thing um, that if you um, just copy text straight from a Word document, as I did then, it's actually taken the formatting with it and that's not necessarily a good thing when you're trying to create a blog post so instead of copying it straight from Word um, or any other sort of text application what I want you to do is copy it and paste it into Notepad so all computers PCs and Apples um, will always have a, a version of Notepad and Notepad is just a really really basic form of text that will clean any of the formatting out. So I've just pasted it in there and I just need to select it all again, click copy and then I can go and paste it in here and you can see that it didn't bring in any formatting with it. Um, so I might need to sort of go through and add in some returns, that kind of thing, but that's all fine. Um, now I can also move my image so if I think, oh no, I did want it in the middle there. Um, it is a little bit tricky as you're moving it around because it's sort of, because um, it's not an amazing editor. You just sort of have to have a play if you want it to sort of, you know, try and get it in the right spot. And this layout here is not exactly as it's going to look on your website. So what you need to do is um, click preview and it will show you what the post is actually going to look like so that you can make any adjustments as you go. So you can see at the top here I've got a preview banner so you know it's not published yet. So you can see here that it's actually going really close to the edges of here. Um, it's got a nice little border around there and usually the text looks um, you know a little bit smaller than what you can see on here. Okay so I might kind of go oh, I need to add a few returns in there so that it's sitting below there and it's still not sitting below there. So I'm going to add a few more returns. And have a look again. There we go. So that, that's better sitting underneath there. Okay, so that's basically how you do a blog post. Um, if you want to create a link in there, so you might sort of put at the end of your blog post. Um, oops. So you might put a board free banners. Oops. Um, style director milk and honey. Oops, small n and made props. And 
then um, if you had a website um, or a Facebook page, it's really important to actually put a link in for that as well. Um, so these girls don't have a website. This is their website. Um, so I'm going to put their Facebook page in there. And then that just actually helps there be more links on the internet about your business. Um, so Sure what that is, but I'll, I'll check that out later. And then to actually link that to the site, we need to highlight that text and then press link. And because it's got a www in front of it, it will automatically create one. But I can also link just you know a single word that doesn't have www in front of it and send that to a web page as well. So I might put in here. You, um, just as a little silly example, um, but and you can see where that's going to there. Okay, so um, that's the basics, and then once you're done, you need to actually press save, do a preview again, make sure it's all looking perfect, and then you can press publish. Now, if you press publish, it will publish straight away, and it will be live on your blog. Um, but if you want to schedule it you can actually set a time and a date using this. Um, you can also add things like labels. Um, so labels are um, just keywords basically. So if you wanted to say, okay, the keywords of this blog post is quilts. Um, and then another one might be baby boy. Um, you could do that and then you can actually have a list of labels um, on the right hand side of your blog over here. Um, so that if people are just looking for anything that's related to quilts, they can click on the quilts tag. Um, so I'll go into that in a little bit more depth in another one, um, I think. And then there's a few different options down here as well. So you can um, not allow reader comments if you don't want to. Um, and then a few more technical ones. You can add a location. You can add a permalink if you'd like. Um, or a custom one. But again, these are just little things that you don't necessarily need to really do too much if, if you're not really worried about them. Okay, so then you would click publish. If you're not ready to click publish, you can still keep it as a draft. So if you wanted to um, you know, quickly write one up and then get your partners in your business to actually go in and have a look and make any changes that they want, you can just click close. And then you can see over here, it's still in draft mode. Okay. And that just shows you how to create a blog post. Now, if you want to go in and edit or add pages, we go over here to the left hand side and we go to our pages menu. Okay, so these are the pages I have at the moment. And I can actually change the order of our pages just by clicking on these five little dots here and click and drag up. And that will change the order of the pages and you can then choose save arrangement. Okay, and we'll put that, oops back in the right spot <laughs> um, and you can see here that you can either have it as tabs along the top which is what we've chosen tabs along the top here or you can have them as side links so they would be in this sidebar um, or you can not show the different pages at all um, if you wanted to have some sort of special links to them but I recommend the top tabs because it, it makes it feel a lot easier to navigate to me okay now to edit any of these pages you simply need to click on edit and then pop up and again it's exactly the same as a blog post except this is just a static page it it um you know that that stays where it is and it doesn't get moved anywhere okay so make any changes that you'd like to in there and then once you're done click date Okay, and if, if you'd like to add a new page, instead of going over here to the new post one, we go here to new page. And you can either create a whole new page or you can just create another um, sort of yellow tab here that will send somebody to another link. So you might put shop. So if we went page title shop, and then you might link that to your Etsy store or something like that. 
Um, um, so again, really easy to use. Um, now that's that's the basics of everything. There are other things that you can go through down here in terms of you know every other thing. But if you just want to be able to uh, manage the content without sort of playing too much with stuff, then those are your basics. Um, one good thing to look at though is your stats, um, which is again it's on your overview as well. Um, but you can just sort of check out you know where people came from, how many people have viewed the page, you know, where do they live, all that kind of thing. So that's an interesting um, source of information. And there we go. That's how to create um, new blog posts and how to edit and add new pages. Okay, bye.